Hey, welcome back to RC10 CNC channel, guys. Uh, my channel is RC10 CNC because I do RC10s and RC cars and S10s. I got a thing for 10s. Um, this one's actually named Q10. I'm not going to explain that now. I'll make a video on the, on the name of that later. Anyways, so here I go. Um, this is my uh, update. I've been working on this truck for a year, me and my son. Um, it's 100% driving the way we want it. It drives phenomenal. U117 wheels, 18 by 8 squared, 4.5 back spacing, 225 front, and 245 or 255 in the back. I don't remember. All right, so talking about the wiring. So what I did was, in the front, I rewired everything. I just tore it all out, right? Uh, put HE, HIDs in, rewired those. Uh, dual has dual relay fans. I rewired everything, guys, from the front all the way back. Old school 6AL MSD box with a blaster too. Rewired everything to the fenders. I got new blocks, new wires, new copper wires. You know, I hate when people use that aluminum clad stuff. You gotta use pure copper wire, always. Um, so yeah, all rewired, there's no wires because it was all wired on the fender, I didn't like it. It was an old way of doing it. So now everything's in the fender hidden away protected so and insulated correctly so everything's wired behind the battery battery was going to go in the back before but decided that um i'm going to do that maybe next year so i designed a little z bracket that mounts to the original screw hole that would mount into the inner liner and right to the frame where i have it grounded so it's nice and secure so i redid that uh the heater still works we still use it it's all cleaned up wired here um to 350 30 over it's got uh, San, uh, Sanderson headers, um, uh, Edelbrock CVS drop-in and go carb. We don't race, so I don't really care. Um, rewired this side for the headlights, HIDs, and everything for uh, the horn and uh, whatever else. I put a comp can canister here because it used to be over here for the vacuum because it's got a pretty big cam. And, you know, you got to have vacuum. Um, so I designed and CNC the bracket for that to fit vertical right there. I put a new coil, sorry, I put a new uh, coolant reservoir here, and it's out of the way. Um, and um, all the bushings, all joints, and I got a scratch in the control arm from the previous wheels. Um, and that's about it for that. I have an oil, oil catch can I'm going to put on. Um, as you can see, I got a little, I got about a half, a quarter inch space right there. It hits on bumps, but these uh, Beltec Street Performance shocks are awesome. It feels tight. Um, clear markers, LED lights in the front. I'm not sure if I'm going to switch to a black or a uh, Kiwi black or go chrome on uh, the bumper. I'm definitely not going to go white. Um, we wrap the bottom. This is vinyl wrap, guys, because the paint was almost perfect. Then after I started driving it last year, I started getting chips, and I hated it. Hated it. Terrible, right? Yeah. This is the guy right here that does a lot of work on this truck. So uh, we wrapped it because, you know, I like white trucks anyways. I always prefer a white truck or a white car. I always just fall to that. So I have this I have this stripe that's going to go on. I'm going to surprise everybody in the video. It's, it's I, I can't wait. It's going to set it off. Um, the front's perfect height. It's where I want it. The back's got to come down another inch at least. The problem is it's got the uh, bump stop brackets on. So I'm going to get those off, and i got to add another inch and three-degree shim on the, on the back. Get rid of the traction bars. I was going to go Caltrack, but I'm not. I'm just going to drop it because we don't race. I just want it to drive good. And it, this is the best driving truck I've ever had. So we're going to get rid of the traction bars. We're going to drop it more so it's even with the front. It makes sense. I'm going to get rid of the 60-40 seats. I'm talking fast, guys, because I'm trying to make this video short. I'm going to get rid of these 60-40 seats. They're going to be for sale. They were like 600 bucks to, to reupholster. They're nice, but I just, I'm 300 pounds. I want a bench seat. Like the other truck, tons of room with the bench, guys. Um, back new tail lights, all new lights itself. And um, the whole car is, you know, all the parts, I mean, under 2,000 miles on everything, on the motor, everything that's been done. So um, it's, it's, it runs like a brand new, like a brand new car, so, or a truck. But uh, man, it drives smooth inside. These, these shocks are my favorite. I've never bought these performance ones before. I've only bought the, uh, the, the Beltec drop ones. So, but that's about it for my update for the past year. I wanted to make a quick video. Um, does it, we did put a nine, four nine inch in there. That's obviously in there with the disc brakes. 
and um, the, not sure what the width is from axle to axle, you know, from side to side, but the wheels will fit perfect in there. Actually, the wheels on the on the white truck, the 83, they, they sit in a lot further with that nine inch that's in there. I don't know what it was cut down to, but so, but anyways, that's it guys. I just wanna, like I said, I just wanna do a quick video showing it, giving an update, and um, that's about it. So it's got a two inch cowl, fiberglass. Oh, I do have these uh, hood strut, gas struts to put on from Moto 360. You know, these. But I'm gonna CNC, yeah, those things. I'm gonna CNC my own bracket for the hood to put those on. Because I don't want to drill into those. So those are clear to put in. I'm going to do those next. And that'll be it for that. And I just got to re finish that wire for the uh, relays to turn on with the switch. Because they already have a sensor. But um, they only come out of 195 or whatever. So I'm going to have it so I can turn it on all the time. Um, brakes are perfect too. Um, that's about it. Want to do me a favor? Just put the parking lights on. We'll put the lights on to show what it looks like. The clear markers when it's off and then when it's on. So that's off. No, 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 just that, just the parking, yeah. Yep, turn them off. <laughs> you thought he was gonna say start it? No, just off. That's off. So they're not, they're not LEDs and they're, they're soft. They're not the bright blue, white light. So that's it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, and I'm gonna put the fender walls back in, the liners. Um, I wasn't going to in the beginning, but I decided to, and I'm going to hammer away. Now that everything's off of it, we got room on that tire. So I'm going to put them back in and hammer away the spots. And I'm not going to bag this vehicle, so it, it's, it drives perfect the way it is. I like it the way it is. There's no reason for me not to use those liners if I could bang them up and get them out of the way. So that's about it, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification if you like the videos I'm putting up for this 87. And if you got questions, comments, just put them in the comment section below. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.